The cracks in cosmic time around a century ago, humanity's understanding of the cosmos was astonishingly limited. Back then, most astronomers genuinely believed that all of creation was confined within the boundaries of the Milky Way galaxy. The stars, nebulae, and faint smudges of light across the night sky were assumed to belong to this single, colossal island of stars. But in 1928, Edwin Hubble shattered this long-standing illusion. Through painstaking observations, he revealed something extraordinary. The Milky Way was not the entirety of existence. Other galaxies stretched far beyond, dotting the universe like islands in an endless cosmic ocean. Even more astonishing, Hubble demonstrated that the universe itself was not static, but expanding. The cosmos was alive, in motion, unfolding with time. This revelation transformed astronomy forever. Suddenly, humanity was no longer gazing at a fixed, eternal night sky. We were watching an evolving universe, one with a past and a future. The very fabric of reality seemed to be expanding beneath our eyes. Decades later, in 1997, the Hubble Space Telescope made another breathtaking discovery. Astronomers had long expected that cosmic expansion would eventually slow down, tugged back by the pull of gravity. Instead, the exact opposite was revealed. The expansion of the universe was not decelerating, it was accelerating. Something unseen, something mysterious, was forcing galaxies apart faster and faster. This invisible force was named dark energy, a phenomenon so strange that even today, its true nature eludes science. With this breakthrough, cosmologists estimated the universe's age at around 13.8 billion years. For decades, this figure became the accepted foundation of modern cosmology. But then came the James Webb Space Telescope, an observatory designed to peer deeper into space and time than any telescope before it. And what Webb began to reveal shook the very foundations of science. Within our own galaxy lies a dense, compact cluster of stars called M92. This ancient congregation of stars appears to be nearly as old as the universe itself. Calculations suggest that M92 could be 13.8 billion years old, perhaps even older. But how could that be? Stars cannot exist before the universe is born. And yet, the data seems to whisper otherwise, challenging everything we thought we knew about cosmic history. To probe further, astronomers simulated more than 20,000 artificial star populations, trying to model and measure the cluster's age. The result was unsettling. M92 stars seemed to brush against the very limits of the universe's supposed timeline. This left scientists with a disquieting question. Have we misjudged the true age of the universe itself? And then Webb's vision reached deeper still. Just 300 million years after the Big Bang, Webb detected galaxies that should not exist. These galaxies were vast, brilliantly luminous, and astonishingly well-formed, more like mature galaxies billions of years old. According to current models, structures of this complexity should have taken eons to develop. And yet, there they were, shimmering like beacons from a much older cosmos. This discovery ignited an even bolder hypothesis. What if the universe is not 13.8 billion years old? What if it is nearly twice as ancient, 26.7 billion years old? Such a staggering revision would not simply tweak a number in a textbook. It would demand a, beyond the known horizon the mystery deepens with one of the strangest stars in the heavens, the so-called Methuselah star. Catalogued as HD 140283, this star seems to be 14.5 billion years old, nearly a billion years older than the universe according to standard cosmology. How can a star predate the very universe it inhabits? By all we know, stars obey predictable life cycles. They burn their nuclear fuel at rates determined by their mass and chemical makeup. Yet Methuselah appears to defy these rules, aging slower than the universe itself. It stands not just as an anomaly, but as a signpost, urging us to look deeper into the mysteries of cosmic time. At the heart of this enigma lies the Hubble constant, the number that describes how quickly the universe is expanding. But this number refuses to agree with itself. Measurements from the cosmic microwave background, the faint afterglow of the Big Bang, 
suggest a slower rate of 68 km per second per megaparsec. Meanwhile, observations of local stars and galaxies point to a faster rate of 73. This conflict, called the Hubble tension, has left cosmologists deeply unsettled. If we cannot reconcile how fast the universe expands, how can we possibly determine its true age? The James Webb Space Telescope has only deepened the riddle. By peering into the so-called cosmic dark ages, Webb found galaxies too massive and too organized to exist so soon after the Big Bang. According to our models, they simply should not be there. But they are. This forces a daring question. Is the Big Bang model itself incomplete? Some scientists propose radical answers. Perhaps we live not in a single, isolated universe but in a multiverse, one of countless universes, each governed by its own rules of physics and time. If so, anomalies like the Methuselah star or impossibly ancient galaxies may not be paradoxes at all. They may be natural results of a universe intertwined with others beyond our perception. Others revisit the ancient idea of a cyclic universe. In this model, the cosmos is not 13.8 billion years old, nor even 26.7 billion. It is timeless, reborn again and again in endless cycles of expansion and collapse. Big bangs followed by big crunches. Could the galaxy's web seas be remnants from a previous cycle of existence? If so, then the universe we inhabit is but one chapter in an infinite cosmic saga. Another tantalizing possibility lies in the concept of primordial black holes. These exotic objects are thought to have formed mere moments after the Big Bang. Acting as gravitational anchors, they may have accelerated galaxy formation in ways we do not yet understand. If they exist, they could explain why galaxies formed so quickly after the dawn of time. But they also raise a deeper question. What else about the early universe lies beyond our grasp? And then there is dark energy, the mysterious force accelerating cosmic expansion. Long thought to be constant, some evidence now suggests that dark energy might evolve over time. If it changes, it could reshape the pace of cosmic growth and alter our understanding of the universe's timeline. This possibility explains some mysteries, but it also opens a Pandora's box of new ones. Finally, at the smallest scales of existence, where quantum mechanics reigns, even time itself begins to fragment. Could such quantum effects have warped the early universe, creating galaxies or altering time in ways beyond comprehension? Fluctuations in those first moments may have set the stage for a cosmos we barely recognize. From galaxies older than logic allows, to stars that should not exist, to the shifting enigma of dark energy, Webb's discoveries suggest we may be standing on the threshold of a scientific revolution. Perhaps the universe is not 13.8 billion years old. Perhaps it is 26.7 billion. Or perhaps it is eternal, without beginning or end. One truth, however, is undeniable. The James Webb Space Telescope is more than a machine. It is a time voyager, a cosmic codebreaker, and a messenger from the depths of existence. With every image it returns, it challenges us to dream larger, to ask bolder questions, and to embrace the vast unknown. So we are left with a final question. Are we standing at the brink of a cosmic transformation? A revolution that could forever change how we see the